So just get me up on that first trap. I got you. Easy, come on. Go! Easy! Come on! Up! Up! Push! Up! Come on! Come on! Good? Yeah. So we're at Zoo Culture. We're back again with Bradley Martin. We're gonna be training shoulders and arms today, but it's like one of Brad's first sessions back after he was a little bit sick. So uh, we're gonna do some raw training first, and then we'll cut into some talking right after. We might piece those in, but we'll just get right into it. I do some side laterals. Get one more. Should I do one more set of side laterals, then I'll go into shoulder press. Yeah, hit it. Let's hit a PR for sure. Yeah. Every time we're at Zoo Culture, we have to hit a PR. PR I think the last, I think the last PR I hit here was when I was like 15 and I did the bench. That was like the, my first time bench hit like 135 for max reps, and now. Uh, now we gotta go for a dumbbell press with more weight than that. So, what are you gonna do? I'm gonna. I don't know. Maybe I'll see. I'll see if I can work up to 100 on shoulder press. We'll see from there. But we'll see how it feels. Cause I trained chest earlier. But I feel good right now. I feel hyped up. We'll do one more set and then we'll take the sweater off. Cause Brad just took his sweater off. So I gotta I gotta look big inside, Brad. <laughs> How much you weigh right now? 130, just, uh, 136, I think, 137. Oh, fuck. That's because okay. I dropped water weight. When we've been here, since it's hotter. Oh, you're trying to get lean right now? I don't know if I'm trying to get lean. It's just because it's so hot here compared to Canada, so there's water weight. Yeah. I'm trying to get strong. I'm trying to get strong. Feel strong? I'm trying to get stronger. Yeah. If you feel strong right now. Yeah. I'll get Brad to spot me so like he can spot me on every single rep so it looks like I do like 20 reps he's just lifting it. You gotta get this. You gotta get this. So just get me up on that first rep. And I got you. Easy. Come on. Go. Easy. Come on. Got it. That first rep, I was like, shit, this is unstable. <laughs> yeah, hold it. Felt, right? felt like that shit. <laughs> yeah. All right, honestly, that helps so much. Yeah. That's, dude, that's awesome. That felt heavy, that's not gonna lie. Last video, too. Hold on, look. Are we, count, are we counting the first one or not? Nah, probably not. Okay, right. so. But it doesn't matter, I'm just. Yeah. That shit's the most unstable reps I've ever done, mm. whatever. Oh, it doesn't matter, though. You're doing them, that's crazy. <laughs> this dope ass video. Thanks for the spot. Yeah, hell yeah, that's awesome. See, this is what we're here for, PRs, that's it. That's fucking sick, So man. That got now. me hype right now. Let's go! Yeah. I'm gonna go up here. Yeah, let's try to get some good weight. That was not bad, that was pretty good. Oh. Pretty good. I'm still like, god damn! Maybe just on the first 
Shoulder press, I've always stuck around like 125, 120. I don't think I've really tried to go hard heavier. It's PR that day at Duke Culture. That's so fucking good. PR dude. day at Duke Culture. Holy shit. Yeah, that's sick. I shocked myself. Now that we did the heavy movements, we can get a good pump and then look good on camera, you know? <laughs> that's the key. Yeah. That's the key. It's the real key. So, pump time, what would you start with? I might do one back offset, so a lighter set for, for more reps and shoulder press. And then I'm gonna move on to like maybe like a, what do you think? Front raise or something? Or like a. Yeah, barbell front raise. Barbell front raise? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna do one back offset after that that last set of like 75, with like 75 pounds. Just go to failure. And then after that, I'm gonna go to a barbell front raise. Because that's what Brad said he wants to do. So, we gotta listen to him. 75 or 80? 75 should be good. So since it's a back off set, I want to be more controlled. It's like I was watching John Meadows earlier and he was talking about like, if you can't lift it with good with good form, then that's failure. Not going and doing stupid stupid reps for the sake of it, that's where you start risking injury. So on our back off set, when it's not a PR, it doesn't matter. We're just trying to control the weight. And feel it in our delts. You okay? Yeah, no, I didn't it didn't hit me. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm okay. It's like it just breaks my foot. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm not crying. I'm not crying. Just got crushed by 170 pounds. I'm not crying. After you go to a heavy set and then you back off, it feels like you can feel a contraction so much more. You get everything like firing like that. It's amazing. That's what I've been doing recently is working up to my top set. And then after that, doing like one or two back off sets, we can actually feel the muscle contracting. Because once you get everything firing, it's just secondary nature to, to contract the muscle. How are you doing this? Give me the, give me the technique breakdown. Higher. Elbows higher. Higher? Lean, yeah, like lean with your elbow. Almost like a, yeah, that's it. It's, the weight don't be got a crazy, don't got to be crazy heavy. You just pull with your elbow. Is this front or is this? So you don't want to go like you don't want to end up like this. Like this. You want to end up like this. And I like if I keep my my lats flared. Yeah, yeah. You kind of pop off that. So keep it in front of you. You'll feel it like when you come part. down. You'll feel like this. Yeah, yeah. That looks You're saying about the temperature? It's nice and warm in here. Unlike the gyms in Canada, like here, I can actually, I'm sweating. But I'm even not. in uh, Golds, it was still like. Yeah, it's still cold in Golds because they have the doors open. Here they have the doors closed. So, shout out Zoo Culture. <laughs> well, I'll start with my left arm over here. I love how we just moved everything like to, into this one area for the lighting. See, it's the internet it's for the lighting. Well, gotta tell you, without lighting, Instagram would be nothing. Yeah, man. I mean, without light, you know. They're, we all be dead. I mean, I just. That's why vitamin D is so important, right? Exactly. 
Well, wait a sec. Is that always how you do them? What do you mean? I'm just curious. Nothing wrong, nothing wrong. That always how I do them. Like, like, like leaning or what? No, your uh, arm bent. With my arm bent? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, usually. Okay. I'm doing like this, though. So. What do you think is better? What do you, no, no, do that. No, for sure. Are you doing another set or no? Yeah? When I started, right, on this? Yeah, yeah, so if you don't want more sets, <laughs> you gotta be I'm gonna do um, both at the same time and then I'm gonna burn out just because the alternating obviously needs a little bit more swing. Yeah. So I'll do as many as I can just normal and, and then, then swing it. Fuck it. What, the most muscular? Yeah. Got really young. 
Were you like, as far as social media, bodybuilding? I'm sure you saw it if you were doing it, you're like, young, oh shit, I can do that. And you actually did it. Yeah. So you're like that, you're like that generation of people who like, if they made the most out of like, everything they had around them and things that they could see, like you're, you're that. Yeah. That's fucking sick, man. And like, that's the culmination of it. Are you willing to like, push yourself to that limit, to that edge so that you can become a professional? I think you just started doing that.